It's one of the most reviled aspects of Los Angeles government. The $73 ticket placed on cars illegally parked during street sweeping days. Angelinos received a respite from those tickets for seven months last year, after the beginning of the pandemic and the stay-at-home orders that followed. They could receive another break starting Monday, when the city is set to cut its street sweeping schedule in half, holding the cleanings every other week instead of weekly. That could mean a big reduction in parking citations in the coming months, but only if car owners know which weeks are the right ones to safely park. To help residents make the transition, the Bureau of Street Services is directing them to where they can sign up for email notifications for days their streets will be cleaned. The city is also directing residents to an online map and to its 311 hotline. We're going to be very sensitive to the community, to their needs, on how we make sure that no tickets are issued to people who are parked on the days that we are not sweeping, said Adele Hagekhalil, the bureau's director and general manager. Hagekhalil said the city is looking at adding color-coded stickers or other information to more than 75,000, no parking, signs to indicate which streets will be cleaned on the first and third weeks of the month and which will be served on the second and fourth. But that won't happen right away, he said. One neighborhood leader questioned the decision to scale back trash removal, saying the move will have a major effect in low-income neighborhoods. Aura Vasquez, who served for several years on Koreatown's neighborhood council, said she also fears that some residents, particularly those who lack computer access, will have a tough time determining which weeks are the right ones to safely park. There's going to be a lot of tickets, because it's going to be confusing, she said. Los Angeles has nearly two, 400 miles of streets that typically receive weekly cleanings by the fleet of sweepers, which collect food wrappers, discarded surgical masks and other detritus, keeping them from washing into storm drains and, ultimately, the ocean. Hagekhalil said the cuts were triggered in part by the city's employee buyout program, which was approved by city leaders last year in an attempt to close a massive budget shortfall. Mayor Eric Garcetti had originally proposed 26 furlough days as a way of cutting costs. Union leaders persuaded him and city council members to first offer buyouts of up to $80,000. Roughly 10% of the workers at the Bureau of Street Services took the city up on its offer, including a dozen street sweeper operators. Those buyouts, along with the city's ongoing hiring freeze, have left the agency with too few drivers to maintain the weekly cleaning schedule, Hagekhalil said. Even if the city's financial picture improves, the weekly cleaning schedule is not likely to return.